Hey guys, uh, this is Murali here from SALT. Uh, today's topic is uh, know thyself. I think uh, meaning like basically like you know know yourself. Uh, last time we talked about uh, about this uh, Chinese military strategist, right? Uh, Sun Tzu, who wrote Art of War. And uh, I don't want to give the speech about it again. Uh, it's very relevant even now. So let's jump to what he said, right? Like he says, uh, if you're ignorant of both your enemy and yourself, then you're a fool and certain to be defeated in every battle. If you know yourself, but not your enemy, for every battle won, you will suffer a loss. Uh, then if you know your enemy and yourself, you will win every battle. So the key is you have to know yourself to win the battle, to win the competition. This, I mean, this is actually not that, uh, uh, not very, like, you know, something very a secret or some inside that uh, is very rarely known or anything like that. It's very, very common. Uh, for example, like, you know, take uh, the game of football, right? Uh, do you think your coach will play you randomly ba or based on your strength? So he would look at you, he would, I mean, w I mean, he'd look at your build, he'd look at your strengths. Uh, do you have a good arm? Are you a good runner? Are you built well? Uh, you want to be a your defender? Things like that, right? So based on that, uh, well, I mean, you'll be played. I mean, you're a your linebacker, wide receiver, quarterback, whatever, right? So not only in, a, I mean, everywhere, you in, in anywhere in your life, like you know, usually uh, you tap at your strength and uh, build on your strength. That, that's what it is. That's how you should. Otherwise, like, you know, you will lead a mediocre life. So, I mean, like, just I want to divert uh, a little bit here. And I want I strongly encourage you to take this, uh, uh, take this, uh, like, assessment test kind of thing. It's given by, uh, like, Colby. Uh, I mean, just take this assessment. I think, like, you either Y or uh, Colby A index. It's a fantastic tool where uh, you will understand your operate. I mean, how you operate in life. I mean, what your strengths are, what what your weaknesses are, the different ways that you operate. So, I mean, not just for for SAT. This is for like you know, in general, like you know, how to understand how you play the game, and uh, so that like you set yourself up to win. So, win the game. So now let's come back to our SAT, right? Like for example, so if. I mean, we're so particular in the games and every aspect of our lives uh, about this, like building on the strength and uh, uh, understanding the weakness and uh, seeing how important that is. And then like either bypassing the weakness or uh, building on top of it, things like that. So why don't we do it in uh, SAT prep? I mean, I, I mean, I've seen a lot of people who jump right into to, uh, preparation and don't understand what it is. And uh, they just keep on uh, either beat themselves up or they give it up or things like that. So let's see what is covered in SAT first. Like, you know, uh, I, I know you'll understand your strengths and weakness, like maybe in other areas of life, but it, uh, when it comes to SAT, I mean, what is it? I mean, basically all the, all you have in SAT is your analytical, math, and math again have like, you know, the four sections that we talked about earlier, uh, then writing, uh, then verbal. So there are three main sections, right? So within verbal, you have like, you know, you know your critical reading, your sentence completion, your sentence corrections. So, so based on that, I want you to take an assessment test and grade your performance. So if somebody can, I mean, we at SALT, like we came up with this, like uh, a good uh, assessment, like where we grade, grade you from a uh, scale of one to 10 in each of these areas and sub areas. And uh, like we try to understand what your strength is and based on that, we prepare uh, a plan. But for you, you can take the test. I mean, like pick, ask somebody to get, get you like, uh, a five or like 10 questions from each of these sections, uh, I mean, based on a difficulty. So, I mean, so based on that, like, uh, like take the assessment test and grade your performance. So it's not as bad as it is. Like, you know, you can just take 10 questions from each section and uh, ask somebody like to see if what, what is the difficulty level it is. And you take the test and grade it one to 10, a scale of one to 10, I mean, where do you rank myself? So between these areas, not just like, you know, verbal, right? Like you have to see like, okay, within verbal, what is it? Uh, so that like you'll understand why uh, something is bothering you, something you're very good at or something you're not good at, things like that. And uh, I also uh, strongly encourage you to get a coach, right? So when I say a coach, I mean, Jack, for example, like, you know, Jack Nicholas, like, you know, the world's greatest, game's greatest uh, player, 
uh, he had a coach. What he does is like whenever he he, was, he felt like he was not doing good, so he hired a coach. And uh, all through his career, he had a coach. So pe- when people asked him, like, dude, why do you need a coach? I mean, you're such a great player, so why do you need a coach? So, I mean, is the coach teaching anything? I mean, is the coach teaching the greatest player in the world something? So he said, I mean, he need not teach me anything. But, I mean, what he will do is, like, he will go back and then look at my game and critically assess, critically understand the flaws in my game and uh, of the flaws in my shot. So that's the beauty of a coach. So if he's doing that, why don't you do it? I mean, uh, why not you, right? Basically, like, you are... Uh, you're trying to improve your game. You're trying to win the game. So what is your strength and what's your weakness? Who is who is better like you to understand it or somebody who can actually sit back and look at you Look at what you're doing and uh, can tell you like dude. Yeah, this is this is right This is what you're great at and this is not what you're great. It's not what really good at So I mean get a coach your dad could be a coach could be anybody your best friend could be a coach your dad but anybody who is like honest and uh, who can like honestly give you the feedback without any uh, you know uh, anything uh, no no strings attached right so then like you know evaluate your strengths on a scale of one to ten on each of these sections and sub subsection like get get your strengths evaluated like you know how, how is it like your one five nine seven whatever it is right and uh, when you start your preparation, right? When you start with your game plan, uh, your uh, uh, you're coming up with a plan. Uh, we will cover that in a later uh, uh, later uh, topic, like how to plan and uh, things like that. But when you do that, I want you to start with your strengths. The reason being, you build it, and then you actually gain momentum. So uh, that's that's very very important. I mean, I, I mean, people uh, usually like you know, get started on weakest link and uh, you get uh, disappointed and all but you need to get that momentum going you build on your strength and slowly like you know you know that uh, you are uh, getting better and better and you uh, you know okay this is a weight of uh, this one because of this i'm going to get this score things like that you will understand uh, it is and then like once you get your momentum then uh, you can focus on your uh, weaknesses right so i mean there is a different game plan for different strategy to overcome the weaknesses what it is is like you know why are we weaker there i mean uh, mostly it's because of clarity because of lack of clarity once you i mean there's a lot of smoke screen around some things so once you take off the smoke screen the mountains will be very clear the mountains will be like beautiful and clear so maybe it's because of that maybe it's because of that you, didn't, you don't have clarity in certain areas like what it is or uh, uh, you can use like visioneering or mental rehearsal like you know uh, uh, we'll again like talk about it like in a later uh, uh, videos about w- what exactly is the technique and how you do that how it's going to help you and all but this is a key i mean olympic athletes do that business people do that uh, lo- i mean any executive coach if mean, if you if you want uh, if you uh, go and uh, uh, trying to compete at a very high level so they will teach you that I mean, mental rehearsing is is a key. If you are like you know getting trained to be a CEO of somebody, of, of uh, you want to get into higher positions in a company, uh, in a business, you will uh, use this technique. So why not use it on this? I mean, you you can overcome your weaknesses uh, using this technique. And um, there are certain hacks which can speed up the learning, so that like you know, uh, what you do is like you understand the weight of it. In the big picture right like you know okay let's say you're weak at uh, uh, critical reading you know, like you're not good at uh, passages and like you know reading it and uh, uh, like double passages you can't like you know correlate between these two and things like that so understand what how many are coming up right so if like you know, you're getting about like you know, 20 of them and then like if you can at least uh, hack like 10 of them right yeah, understand and then come up with a and like the strategy where you can understand like to come up with at least like you know, the top i mean up to mid-level uh, kind of uh, questions you can get them answered so you you understand like you know what where it where you stand and uh, if you can actually improve it a little bit things like that but you need to understand yourself to assess where you are and uh, what you're doing uh, which one you're good at which ones you're not good at to get to this kind of insight to get to this level of like yeah i mean this is how i'm going to play the game 
So to get to that level, you need to know yourself. So, uh, I mean, nothing like, you know, nothing fancy, nothing like, you know, the super secret hack that we gave you on this, uh, in this uh, dispatch, but it's very, very critical. Don't, uh, don't, I mean, get the simplicity of this one, take the importance, relevance away from, from this. I mean, very, very important for you to understand yourself and then play the game accordingly. So that's it, folks. Uh, have a great day and uh, we'll uh, see you in a bit. See you later. Bye.